nowhere. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a track. Huh? Oh, it's pretty well maintained, but it's just yeah, just big feels... washouts and stuff. Yeah, it just feels like we're... tells us that this last bit is a 200 meters of a four-wheel drive track so we're going to drive it and hope for the best. She a bit wobbly but it's yeah it's a four-wheel drive track but you can park it and walk it if you don't want to We've left the van at the turn off to Bloomfield, Lion's Den and the main road into Cooktown. Uh, left the van there unhitched and parked it and driven into Trevathan, Trevathan Falls this morning. So we are... We are heading in there now and we've heard they're beautiful. Once you get up the hill a little bit, there's like a V. You gotta take the ones to the right, the track to the right of the V towards where you can hear the water um, for the falls. Don't know where the other track goes. <laughs> I'll go and go easily. Watch me get down. Hey? Yeah. It's a little sketchy. Just be careful, hon. You be careful, too. Thanks, babe. Whoa. Whoa. That's how I get down. How are you going to get across through, Mum? Oh, no, it's not How's your thongs going? Great. Why didn't you... How far is this? What a beautiful place, like in the middle of the scrub. Yeah. It's so cool. Um, it's nice and cool in the bush. Like it's just epic. It looks great. So I'm trying to take a few different photos at the moment. I'm doing. I've done a nice vertical sweep panorama. I've done a nice vertical composition as well. 
and then I'm also doing a um, I'm doing a vertical stack panorama with a bunch of vertical photos around like that and I should be able to add them all in Photoshop together and get some have a few different options of some really cool photos um, and it just means I can sort of a little bit more pick my composition after the fact like at the computer where I can see all the detail and how it's going to look and finalize Sometimes you get to a place and there's just like definitely one perfect composition oh, yeah. and sometimes you get to a place that's just so spectacular you don't want to just rely on one composition you want to try and get a lot of data and detail so you can then pick and choose later on. Um, yeah, I've got 5% battery left in my camera, I'm really eking it out. <laughs> wobbly camera work I'm standing perched on a rock to film Daniel <laughs> um, but yeah this is probably one of the most beautiful waterfalls I've seen in a while um, Daniel just handed me the battery from the camera over the water so had to make sure I didn't drop it um, yeah but people say like the waterfalls in this area are very like are similar to Northern Territory and stuff and I agree there's some big boulders and massive rocks and stuff and just um just out there beautiful really and so Trevathan Falls when you come to Cooktown if you don't do this you're missing out for sure um not that bad of a walk a little bit of a hikey thing I probably shouldn't have had thongs on um it's swimmable as well and there's some fish some jungle perch swimming around in just here in front of us as well um, so if you're a fish person and like to spot fish, it's a good spot. Anyway, obviously we'll show you the capture. The price is right. <laughs> and what does that mean, Daniel? Means this is free. Yes, where are we? Oh, we're at the Lakeland pub. Just across the road from it. Yeah. Yeah, so if you're a paying customer of the pub, you can camp um, sort of around the pub outside areas. So we've picked this beautiful shady tree spot because we're the Under first a big one here. Jacaranda, I think. Near a tree? Oh, I don't know if it's jacaranda or not. Uh, I, I think it is. I'm just going to go with tree. I think it's a jacaranda. Um, yeah, so he's, he's like owns all the block of land, so he can just pick a spot. It's just, you know dirt or whatever but you gotta be self-contained self-contained um he does he did say, offer me to show me where the outdoor shower was if we needed it i said but we're self-contained we're, self we're all good um yeah so off. this is us for tonight um we could have kept driving further it is only three o'clock but it's father's day so i'm gonna make some rum daiquiris so well sorry man's gonna make me some rum daiquiris apparently <laughs> um so yeah we just decided to do the waterfall this morning and then um come to here and then we'll go from here to Port Douglas tomorrow um, so it's not as far from Cooktown but it's also not a big day today either because we don't like big days so, it's a perfect day yeah waterfalls and then rum daiquiris <laughs> it's all about the drinks for you it's a perfect day <laughs> all about the drinks for him and that drink <laughs> anyway <day> and <laughs> we're even little I reckon we are 99% level. I reckon we're pretty level too here. Yeah, so if you camp here in the under the tree spots um free, it's pretty level as well. So it's 100 percent level. <laughs> awesome. Um yeah, I'll show you around the pub in a bit as well. It's fruit fruit crush slash daiquiri time. And we're in Lakeland and there's fruit um all around, so we stopped at the organic produce store and got some passion fruits. Look at the size of this, it's one dollar each and it's like the size of an orange. And I'll chop it up and it tastes delicious too. We've already had one. It's like massive. Like, look at how much I get out of it. It's like a never ending passion it's fruit. It's like four normal passion fruits and delicious. And they're a dollar each. What else did we buy? I, think I bought we might some stop tomatoes. There again tomorrow yeah, we might have no passion fruits left, I <laughs> then. We'll have to buy another lot. 
And I have local bananas and um watermelon. Watermelons, yeah. What else was there? Purple, tomatoes, chilies. Shed tomatoes, I guess. Yeah. Are these like heirloom type ones? There's another one. Like the greeny ready ones. Should be nice. Mm, they look good. And there's a red one. Can I have some more passion fruits? Because I only got one passion fruit left. Okay, here you go. No. Oh, no. You, do you want to try one? No. This you want to try some? Real one. Yeah, here, try, try have a taste. One. Have a taste to see if it's any good. Mm. What do you reckon? Good. How many thumbs up? Two thumbs up. So daiquiri making has turned into first aid. Yeah. Show the sink, Amanda. <laughs> Daniel is bleeding. From my head, quite a lot. Um, Daniel went to go and plug in the power, the 240 volt, into the back of the truck, and as he walked out, he ran into the awning arm thing, and he didn't latch the little grey lap. Don't Latch blame them me back for not over. latching it back over. Well, you didn't, and then that's what you ran into. And that was <laughs> it. No, because it's sharp. I was gonna. I'm talking about how sharp it is. The grey little latch thing. I'll have to show it to you. I'll put a little piece over here. Um, is quite sharp, and he didn't latch that over, so he ran into it. It's not just ran into the arm, and he's now bleeding. It's ran into that little sharp grey bit. Let me show you. Anyway, head so first. I've got a head first. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna just see what's happening. He's I held onto it. Alright, right, right, give it some money. He's held onto it for a bit. I'm just gonna see what's. Yeah, it's coming through. Yeah, it's coming through. Oh, you got long hair at the moment too. Long hair. So you can't. Oh. What? Yes, yeah, bad. Oh. It's hard to see. Yeah, it's not focusing. That's like a full on. Um. There's a full on cut. Um, the triangle corner that, shape. And even still, thing. can you please move? Um, yeah, your leg? Uh, I might have to Google a doctor. Thank you. I think. Can you hold that one on there now, Daniel? Anyway, I'm gonna stop filming for a second and analyze this a bit more. All right. So, see if I can show you up close. Just put the photo on. That's oh, filming okay. All right. So that is <laughs> watching my OTT South reel. On socials. Try not to, but that's, um... <laughs> Can't help it. It's so good, that's why. Um, <laughs> we're just trying to decide now. It's back to Cooktown for medical. Um, it's got eight stitches. Yeah. So, I might just... The other option is to wait till tomorrow. Poor Douglas. Oh, I just think you're going to bleed all night. I just don't think it's going to stop bleeding. Yeah. And you're going to sleep and hit it. And... All right. I think we have to go to the doctor. I yeah. don't have anything to stitch you up. Yeah, I don't want you to stitch me up. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> I'd be scared there for a minute. <laughs> well, we might, at least I'll finish the daiquiri so I don't have some painkillers on the way. You can drive. Finish yeah. the daiquiri. Yeah. Father's Day daiquiri. <gasps> Going to the hospital uh, with a head wound. Yeah. Um, we might just like. I probably can't have any alcohol, can I? No, I was gonna say it's probably not a good idea having your head cut open and. Um, yeah. Oh, it's really hard to know if it's like worthy of stitches or not and it like is. having to drive that far. It is. So annoying, so annoying. You're gonna have to hold that on. Yeah. Anyway, back to Cooktown for the doctor. Life on the road, hey? Do I look good? Is this fashionable? <laughs> uh, we're on the way back to Cooktown now. Uh, but I, mean, I did make myself my daiquiri, which looks bloody good, tastes good. I said to Amanda, I probably shouldn't put rum in it because you know, drinking and head wounds. Um, but I've really been looking forward to this, so I said, screw it, I'll just put a little bit in. <laughs> Finished at the hospital, looked like an hour and a half. Uh, they glued my head. No stitches. She just glued it with like a super gluey, medical super glue type thing. Uh, it stung like buggery. She offered me a local anaesthetic for it, but I was like, nah, I'll be right. It's not hurting that much. And then she glued it, and then it was like, that's painful as stitches. But anyway, all good. We're going to the pub now because it's dinner time. RSL. RSL. Yeah, we got recommended the RSL here for dinner, so off we go. Okay, RSL was closed. Change of plans. Ended up at the bowls club next door. 
<laughs> whatever. Um, and ten dollars for a bottle of special. It's bloody nice. Thumbs up to that one. <laughs> ten dollars. Last time you drove at night, Amanda. I honestly cannot remember. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't drive very often at night. I'm, you know, I'm the main driver. <laughs> <laughs> you to the end of our Cape York series. We hope you've really enjoyed it. Um, it's been a really good six and a half weeks. We've been pumped. We've enjoyed every minute of it. Yeah. And we've really enjoyed sharing it with you guys. So yeah. 42 nights all up. Thank you for end. watching. <laughs> yeah. Um, we did have our ups. We did have our downs. It's been a big mission. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's been awesome. And um, yeah, we really... Um, Can't wait to get back up. Can't wait to go and explore again. I think yeah. we'll do it a bit differently next time with just the truck and um, explore some different camps. Yeah, um, definitely. Whenever that is, we're not sure. Won't be next dry season. When we get there. Yeah, whenever it is. When we get there, we get there. Yeah. It's not gonna, still gonna be there. The Cape's still be. gonna be there. It will be. So there's about, um, I think this is episode 12. So 12 episodes out of the Cape in the end. Um, so if you haven't watched all 12, make sure you head back and watch them. Because um, each if of them is, <laughs> no, you have to. Is it the law? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, each of them shows you something different and has a totally different um, aspect to the cape. So, yeah. Anyway, we're heading south again. Thank you. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. <laughs>